Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to send WhatsApp message from Webhook response. So I am an owner of an online apparel store and I have created a form that I've attached on my website to collect my leads data. So now the application that I've used to create the form is not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. So now to create the integration between the application and Pabli Connect, I have used Webhook by Pabli. So here what I want is that as soon as I'm going to receive a new Webhook response with the help of Webhook by Pabli, automatically to the form submission that is done, I want to send a WhatsApp message. Now doing this manually will take me a lot of time. So what I did was I simply created an automation using Pabli. Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So here in this automation, what we're going to learn is that as soon as a new form submission is going to be done and we're going to receive a webhook response, automatically towards the person who have done the form submission, a WhatsApp message is going to be forwarded. And for that, we're going to create an automation between webhook by Pabli and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn about this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. Welcome to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to send WhatsApp message from Webhook response. So I am an owner of an e-commerce fashion store and we generate numerous number of leads daily through our website inquiry form. However, manually following up on these leads often leads to delays causing potential customers to lose interest. To improve our lead generation process, I have automated this entire process with the help of Pabli Connect. So now whenever a customer fills out the inquiry form and we receive the webhook response, instantly they will receive a personalized WhatsApp message. This immediate engagement of sending WhatsApp message not only keeps leads interested but also boosts our chances of converting them into paying customers. And we are going to be creating this amazing automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on access now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of my workflow, I'm going to give it as send WhatsApp message from webhook response. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Next, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down. So these are the folders from which I'm going to select WhatsApp automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of send WhatsApp message from webhook response and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here, trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, they can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. We are going to set up our trigger step first. And for the trigger application, what we are going to do is we are going to select it as Webhook by Pabli. We use the Webhook by Pabli which is an amazing feature by Pabli Connect whenever we are using an application that is not natively integrated to Pabli Connect. So now to create the connection between Pabli Connect and the application that we are using, we use this amazing feature by Pabli Connect that is Webhook by Pabli. So I've selected my trigger application as Webhook by Pabli and for the trigger event, I'm going to select it as Sketch Webhook Preferred right over here. Okay, as I want to connect the application that I'm using to Pabli Connect with the help of this Webhook by Pabli, you can see after selecting trigger application and the event, Pabli Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. With the help of this unique webhook URL, we are going to create a connection between the application and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this URL from here. Okay. 
as i've copied the url i'm going to open the application with the help of which i've created a form that is attached on my website with the help of which the leads are going to be generated so i'm going to open that application that i've used for creating the form so this is the application that, that is pably form builder so now pably form builder is natively integrated with pably connect but I am taking this application just as an example to show you that how you can create a connection with the help of web by Pabli between application between the application that we are using and Pabli Connect. Okay, so I am just using this for the example right over here. Okay, so you can see that this is the form that I have created with the help of Pabli Form Builder in the name of Contact Form. With the help of this Contact Form, the leads are going to be generated. Okay, so now what I am going to do is I am going to connect Pabli Form Builder to Pabli Connect, and how we are going to do that from the left side of the panel go to this integrations button right over here as you're going to come to integrations you can see that under integration it sees web books you're going to select web books right over here and as you're going to select web books on the top right corner it says create web book i'm going to click on this button as i'm going to do that a dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for us to add the web book url so i'm going to paste the web book url that pably connect has provided us in this field right over here okay and then i'm going to click on the save button as I've done that, you can see the webbook URL is now successfully added in my Pabli Form Builder account. As the webbook URL is added, I'm going to go back to my workflow. You can see it is saying waiting for webbook response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to do the test submission of the form that we have created using Pabli Form Builder. And we are going to check whether the connection between Pabli Form Builder is fully connected with Pabli Connect or not. As we go to the form submission, we are going to check whether Pabli Connect captures the response of the form submission being done or not. We are going to do the test right over here. And and for that, for doing the test, as is the form that I've created, I'm going to do the test submission of this form. For that, click on the share button. So this is the link of this form. I'm going to copy this link from here and I'm going to open this link in a new tab right over here. So this is the form that I've created with the help of which the leads are going to be generated for my business. And this form is attached to my website of my business. OK, and now I'm going to do the test form submission of this right over here. For the first name over here, I'm going to write it as smart. For the last name over here, I'm going to write it as person. For the email over here, I'm going to write it as smart person at the rate pablitudes.com and for the phone number over here i'm going to write in a dummy mobile number after filling in all the required details i'm going to click on the submit button as you can see that it says a message has been received successfully this means the form submission has now been done as the form submission has been done i'm going to open my workflow that i've created and i'm going to scroll down over here i'm going to wait for a few seconds as I've waited for a few seconds, you can see that we have received a response right over here. Okay. So in the response, we have received the form submission that we have done with the dummy mobile number, the last name as person, first name as smart, email as smartperson at the rate pablitudes.com with all the other details. As we have received the webbook response, this means that webbook by Pabli has now been successfully set up. That means our trigger setup is done. As our trigger setup is done and we have received a webbook response, my objective is to send a WhatsApp message to the form form submission that means to the person who have done the form submission i want to send them a whatsapp message okay but in my pably form builder if i'm going to go back to the dashboard of my pably form builder you can see that i have created two forms in my pably form builder account now whenever the form submission for both of these forms are going to be done automatically the webbook response is going to be captured in my trigger step right over here but here as my objective is that that whenever the form submission of this contact form is going to be done then only this workflow that i'm creating should be executed okay so in order to do that what we are going to do is we're going to set up our action step and for the action application i'm going to select it as filter by pably which is an amazing feature by pably connect with the help of which we can filter out the values according to our requirement and for the action event i'm going to select as filter values then i'm going to click on this connect button as we're going to do that it is asking for us to select a label the filter type and the value okay for the label over here from my previous response i'm going to select the form i ID as the ID of the form is going to be unique for both of them right over here. So what I'm going to do is for the select label, I'm going to select it as the form ID. So whenever the form ID is going to be equal to this ID right away, so I'm going to manually enter this ID right over here. 
So this is the form ID value. So whenever the form ID is going to be equal to this value right over here, then only this workflow should be executed after this step. Okay. So I've applied the filter right over here. Then I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. As I'm going to do that, the status will come as success and the message is going to come as true over here because as the label that we have selected as the form ID is equal to the same ID right over here, that is why the status comes as true. But if the form submission is done with the help of the other form, the ID of that form is going to be unique, the different, the, the value is not going to be equal to this, then the condition is going to come as false and the status is going to come as error. Okay. As the filter has now been applied, now I want to send a WhatsApp message to the person who have done the form submission. And how I'm going to send the WhatsApp message with the help of WhatsApp by AI Sensei, as I've created a WhatsApp message template using that. So now I'm going to set up my action step. I'm going to add another action step to this workflow. And for the action application over here, I'm going to select it as WhatsApp by AI Sensei. And for the action event as send template message. As I've created a template message using WhatsApp by AI Sensei, you can see right over here. And with the help of this template, I will be forwarding the messages to all my customers who are going to do the form submission okay so that is all for the action application i've selected it as whatsapp by snc for the action event as send template message and then i'm going to click on this connect button a new window is going to appear in front of you on which you can add new connection or else you can select the existing connection after that it is asking for the api key with the help of which we are going to connect whatsapp by snc to public connect so now to have the access of the api key we have to go back and log into our ai snc account so this is my ai snc account as you can see right over here and now to have the access of the API key from the left side of the panel, go to the manage button right over here. And under manage, it says API key right over here. I'm going to select it. This is the API key. I'm going to copy this from here and paste it in my workflow right over here. Then I'm going to click on the save button. As you can see that WhatsApp by AI Sensei is now successfully connected to Public Connect. As the connection is done, it is asking for the campaign name. In order to send this template that I've created as a message to my customers on their WhatsApp, we need to create a campaign in our WhatsApp by AI Sensei account. Now we're going to create a campaign in our AI Sensei account, okay? So this is my AI Sensei account as you can see right over here. And to create a campaign from the left side of the panel, go to the campaigns page right over here. Now we are going to create a campaign. For that, click on this top right corner launch button. It is asking for the campaign type. I'm going to select it as API campaign. Next, it is going to ask for the campaign name. So the campaign name over here, I'm going to write it as webhook messages. Okay, so this is the campaign name. So I'm going to copy this campaign name from here. And for the template, you need to select the template that you have created, the message template you have created. I've created this message template in the name of webhook message template. I'm going to select this template. Okay, so this is the message template that I've created. Okay, after entering the campaign name and selecting the template, click on set live button and go to campaign button. You can see a campaign in the name of my webhook messages has been created in my WhatsApp by ASNC account and the status of the campaign is live. It is very important for the status to be live in the help test. It says the status of the campaign should be live. You can see right over here. Okay. That is why it is very important for the status to be live. As the campaign is created, this is the message template which says hello. Next to hello, you can see a variable has been added. What's a variable in front of this value and in the end of this value? You can see there are two curly brackets. So this is the variable right over here. Now in place of this variable, I want the value of my customer's name. That is why I've entered this variable in this message template right over here so that I can send the personalized message to all my customers on their WhatsApp. It says, thank you for reaching out to our store. We appreciate your interest and we'll get back to you shortly. In the meantime, feel free to check out our latest collections here at this dummy website. Have a great day. Thank you. Best regards, Style Revolution. So this is the message template that I want to send to my customers who have done the form submission on their WhatsApp. Okay. So as over here, we have created the campaign. It is asking for the campaign name. So I'm going to paste the campaign name right over here. So this is the campaign name. I've pasted it right over here. That is the webhook messages. So you have to enter the campaign name exactly what you have created in your WhatsApp by SNC account. Okay. After that, it is asking for the mobile number to which mobile number do we want to send a WhatsApp message to? So for the data of the mobile number, we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we're going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. And how mapping works is that as soon as I'm going to click on this field, you can see these are the two previous steps of this workflow. That is web by Pabli and filter. As I'm going to click on it, you can see this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. As I want to send a WhatsApp message to the lead that is generated, and my previous response, we have received the lead's mobile number. You can see right over here. So for my previous response, I'm going to select the data of the mobile number of my lead. As I selected data from my previous response, the data is mapped. 
and as I map the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this map data. Next, it is asking for the username to whom we want to send a WhatsApp message to. As I want to send a WhatsApp message to the lead, so I'm going to map the data of the lead's name right over here, okay? It is asking for the source tags. I do not require the field, so I'm going to skip the part. Next, it is asking for the template parameter. As I've already told you that, I've created a variable in this template you can see right over here. Now to enter the value of this variable, we need to enter that value in this field that is template parameter right over here. So as I want in place of this variable, I want the customer's name. So I'm going to map the date of the name of my customer right over here. First name space the last name, okay? So this is the variable value that I wanted. Next, it is asking for the attributes, URL and the file name. I do not require the fields, so I'm going to skip the part. After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on the save and set test request button. As I've done that, the status comes over here as true and the, we have received the message ID. This is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my WhatsApp and I'm going to check whether I have received a WhatsApp message or not. For that, I'm going to open my WhatsApp. And yes, you can see right away, I have received a new WhatsApp message. It says, hello, smart person. This was the name of the lead that was generated. That is smart person. And this is the same message template that we have created using WhatsApp by AI Sensei. So this means that we successfully created an automation between WebUpi, Pabli and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up to what we have done, I am an owner of an online apparel store and I have created a form with the help of which I'm collecting my leads data that is attached on my website with the help of an application. Now, the application that I've used to create a form is not natively integrated to Pabli Connect. So now to create a connection between Pabli Connect and the application, I have used WebUpi Pabli. So here my objective is that as soon as I'm going to receive a WebUp response, that means a form submission is going to be done by any of my leads using the form that is attached on my website, automatically towards the lead or WhatsApp message should be forwarded. And that is why I've created this amazing automation between WebUpi Pabli and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you like this video, Please do subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us the email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching.